I was inspired to do this curly look um, from a picture that I found online and it's from Haley from One Tree Hill and I'm going to put the link on the sidebar to the picture if you want to check it out. Um, what you're going to need for this is two curling irons, a large one and a small one if you have um, two curling irons. I'm using a one and one fourth inch curling iron and I believe this one's a half inch barrel. Um, I'm also going to be using a water-based shine wax and this is from Fertis, Garnier Fertis and also a um, heat protector prior to curling your hair. And I'm also using a hairspray. Um, the hairspray I'm using is from Back to Basics. So, so whenever I curl my hair, I like to start off with a heat protector just because I do curl my hair usually a couple times a week and it can damage your hair from all the heat from the curling iron. Um, so what I like to use is Matrix Gold Heat. And this is just a spray that you're going to spray through all the sections of your hair prior to curling your hair. So I'm just going to go through and lightly spray, focusing on the ends because those are the most um, susceptible to getting really dry and frizzy. So after I do that, um, what I like to do to keep the curls from staying longer is take a hairspray and just spray it into my hand like this. And then rub it through my hands. And then just go through all of my hair and just get a good coat of the hair. So once you're done putting in your hairspray, what you're going to do is section your hair off. And you can either take a comb or you can just take your fingers and pretty much section your hair right in half. Just like so. Flip up the top portion. And for the bottom portion, what I'm going to do, be doing is using a curling iron, um, which is much larger than the one that I'll be using for the top part of my hair. The reason why I'm doing this is because it saves me a lot of time. The bigger the curling iron, the bigger the sections that you, you can curl with. Um, and then so it's just faster, and you're not going to see the bottom part of your hair as much as the top. So it really doesn't matter as much to me. So first what I'm going to do just take my curling iron. It's a very large, it's um, one and one fourth inch, I believe. And just focus on the ends. And this is a great way to save time also. You're, you don't necessarily have to go all the way up to the root just because um, you're not going to see it as much as the top portion of your hair. So a few seconds. And then just continue with that. Like I said, you only really need to go halfway down. Okay, so once the bottom section's done, I'm going to start taking out the next section of my hair. Just like this, and then I'm going to half this section again. and clip that up. And if you look on the sidebar, I posted a picture of the look that we're trying to accomplish. Um, she has kind of more corkscrew type curls. They're not like the banana curls that you normally get with a curling iron. So to achieve this look, what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of hair and you're going to take your thinner curling iron that you're using. So forget using that larger curling iron when you're making these curls. Unless your hair is very long, you may be able to do it with a larger curling iron. And you're going to start from the root, just like this. And you're going to twist. All the way around the curling iron. And then you're going to let the clamp go. So you're not letting the curling iron curl your hair, you're actually taking the hair yourself and twisting it around the curling iron. Hold it a few seconds and let it go off. And like, as you can see, it's more like um, a corkscrew type curl. So I'm going to show you how to do that again. Maybe a little bit closer would help. Take a small section of hair, take your curling iron, start it at the front top of your hair, the root, just twist it around, 
Be careful with your fingers because they get really close to the curling iron. They do sell heat gloves that will um, protect your hands from getting burnt when you're using a curling iron. Um, I'm probably going to get some because I tend to burn myself a lot. Just like this. And your curl is going to be just very bouncy. If you get that second section done, you're going to go ahead and take another small section from the remainder of your hair. And then you're going to keep curling with those corkscrew type curls. Start from the top, twist your hair around the curling iron, let the clamp fall, wait a few seconds, and then release the curl. And make sure you don't touch the curl right away, let it cool off um, so it has time to stay in that position. So once you get the hang of doing these curls, you can also do them vertically and it makes it a little bit faster. Um, and it makes the curl slide off the curling iron a little bit easier. Now what I mean is, the way I taught you earlier was taking the curling iron and going horizontal and curling like so and then waiting a few seconds and then letting the curls fall off. Um, the other way you can do this is position your curling iron vertically and then twist around, clamp, and then just let them drop. So once you're done with that section, you're going to take your last section, take it down from your clip, and just keep curling the same way you were doing before, taking your small curling iron, and if you want to go ahead and take even smaller pieces this time for the top section, and just twist them around the curling iron. Let them set a few seconds. And then pull them out. you're curling, you're going to want to take a shine wax if you have it. I'm using the Garnier Fructis um, water-based shine wax and I think I got it for like a few dollars at Ulta. It's not very expensive. So just take a little bit amount, I'd say about the size of a penny, and rub it through your fingers. And then just take little pieces very gently and go through with the wax. Like that. And you're all done. Thanks for watching.